Hello guys, this is Shane Anam and now we are going to assemble butterfly ball. We have already designed the seven part of butterfly ball. So now we are going to assemble all those parts. So start mechanical design, assembly design and here insert a component called main body here and drag this compass here and rotate your body as you want select now just select just select product and right click property product here butterfly wall the part one property butter fly now we can say main body okay now insert another component called shaft here it is rename it as shaft okay okay here it is shaft right click to make it same <clears throat> now select this icon coincidence constant and select the axis here it is and select the axis of the main body here is the circle select this axis if you gonna select this surface this axis will appear select axis and update and you can see it's inside but we need it some out so select on this icon manipulation select body and drag it out you can drag anywhere select and now contact constant select this surface and select this surface okay on site and you can see you can see the shaft has been inserted here but it's not on right way so put this compass on top of the edge now you can rotate control z put this compass on the face and you can rotate this okay You can hide the all planes which are appears here. Shaft, shaft, hide. Also, you can hide this plane. Hide. Now insert another component. Called retainer. is here now select contact constant this surface and this surface update you can see it has been contact here now coincidence constraint select this axis and you can select any one of the three holes this axis select you can see coincide here now select another coincident select this axis and you can you have to select this axis great you can see that's it now insert a screw okay here it is select coincident 
coincidence constant select axis select this axis okay contact constraint select this escape select this surface and select the surface straight another component called screw okay Coincidence constant, select axis, select axis, update, select contact constant, the surface, the surface, okay. Called another component called uh, screw, okay. The last hole of this screw coincide contact constraint select you should select the surface and the surface of contact control Z contact constraint select the surface select this surface and update you can see here now insert arm here it is arm ok now select coincidence constraint and axis of this hole and axis of this ok it has been coincident now select contact constraint select this surface and select this surface coincidence you can see it has been coincident now Now you can move this no need it's okay now select now insert the nut here it is okay Select contact constant, select the surface and select the arm surface. Okay. Select coincide constant here and here the axis of the shaft. Here you can of the planes height or you can also hide Now the almost all part has been assembled rather than update. So now call the last part. Call the last part that is plate. Here it is. Now contact constraint. Select this face and select this shaft surface. Okay, it has been coincident. Contact now select coincident constraint. Select this axis, select this 
let this access update you can see here I select now put this compass on air and rotate it like this you know compass coincide end select this and select this one coincide end you can see it has been put on the shaft now the assembly has been done you can see all the part has been assembled here this is a simple assembly of butterfly ball another component can be designed like a screw with the diameter of this and this and you can put the those screw on this hole you can do this all things in yourself thanks for watching thank you thank you very much